out here at the Tamahi property and right here we have the landslide showing which is originally a showing of float rock down this other side over here and then we found a large sulfite occurrence on the other side of those trees in a seasonal creek so what's happened is they've widened the logging road here and in the process a lot of this material about 50 to 75 meters away washed away went down onto the road and they removed it so coming up here you see sulfide bearing float I found about five or six samples coming up from here. This is kind of typical of what you see. I found many samples like this already coming up. So we're just gonna have a look across this area here that's now freshly exposed. See if we can find any nice samples on the other side of this, if I can get over there and along this area where I haven't checked before. This angular float rock here has sulfides, pyrite, calcopyrite. When I was hammering it, big chunks were falling off from out here, so I'm gonna stay away, and move away this way. I don't like being in areas like this, but for the sake of documentation, I'm going to go and show some of the material. You can see that rusty piece. I just hammered that out. I just hammered a little piece off this. Right here. We got sulfides. Quite a few of these rocks here are sulfide bearing. You can see what I mean here. All these rusty chunks here are all sulfide bearing pieces, like this. I just broke this off from right here. And you can see inside, you have massive sulfides, pyrite, calcopyrite. It's got a nice gaussinous outside layer here. So all up along here, all these rusty rocks, these are all mineralized. There's a big boulder coming to the bank here. If I uh, try and get it out though, this might come down on me, so I'll stick with stuff down a little lower. So I can't get up there, but I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bigger chunks. I think this one might even be mineralized here, but you can see up there sulfides. And it looks like a broken off piece of a boulder. I wish I could get up there, but if I try and climb this, I'm going down. So I'm gonna go around try and make it around this side. I've thrown some samples down to the road and we'll go take a look at some of those after. Got someone down there collecting them for me. So here's a sample. I think I can get out without this coming out on me. You can see heavy oxidation Break it out. All right, we got that sample right here. You can see it's got some malachite staining on it. Okay, busting into it, you can see we got calcopyrite and we have your silicus rock here. Nice looking mineralization in this. Massive calcopyrite on the side here. You 
You got some boronite in there. This is a very nice sample here and you can see your quartz veining with disseminated sulfides. So I'm down at the bottom now. Up here is the landslide showing directly above me. There's some flagging tape up there, blue flagging tape. I don't know if you can see that, but it's directly above that and to this side. You can see mineralization in this and you have mineralization cutting across here. All this oxidation here, lots of disseminated and massive sulfide stringers and lenses and where I started was up over here climbed up here looking at float all along here and going over that way about a hundred meters so here's a few of the samples from up there massive sulfides So these samples are pretty consistent to what you see throughout the zone, which is in areas about 400 meters wide, traveling for about five, six kilometers. So you see massive pyrite and calcopyrite running with the silicus rock chert, quartz. So these are just a few samples from up above. And this is the landslide showing. We found the last piece of float up over there.